What's up, guys? If you just saw me pop up on a broadcast, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties with my internet connection right now. So I switched it and we're back online. So welcome to the MS Gym. Welcome to the grand opening of all this. This is day one of 365 days of exercises for multiple sclerosis. Now I'm doing this and I've opened the MS Gym because my mission is to literally slow down and stop MS, the progression of MS in its tracks. And you do that by exercise. There's so many physicians and the medical community is really recommending exercise to help slow the progression of MS and protect the nerves that you have and possibly regenerate some of the damaged nerves that you have in your brain and in your nerves and all that. And I'm doing this because there's not a lot of uh, full comprehensive programs out there for people with them is to learn how to exercise. There's a bunch of random sporadic videos. Some of them are pretty good. Some of them kind of like, eh, it's kind of boring. <laughs> so I want to make this fun. I want to party with you guys. We're going to party in our body. I know it sounds weird, but it's fun. And one, every single day, I'm going to give you a series of exercises to do Monday through Friday, one exercise per day. And there's going to be five of them that are adding up to a circuit on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. that we are going to go through together. So I'm going to give you 24 hours to practice the exercise, get used to it, find the right muscles, get comfortable, and then you're going to practice that one and then day two and practice day one and two and then day three so that by Friday you practice all of them so that by Saturday we're ready to rock and we're going to blast through some circuits. You're going to, by the end of this year or a year from now, 52 circuits for MS, which is pretty awesome. So, Today, what I want to talk about is leg weakness. A lot of times with MS, we can have the highest hopes to exercise. We can go be cruising for a while, feeling really good, you know, in our weight training, in our walks, in our elliptical, maybe some group sessions, maybe the pool, and then all of a sudden, you have some kind of relapse, and your leg starts not feeling good, or one leg, one leg starts getting really, really weak, and people are asking me, like, well, I can't, I don't feel comfortable on my feet, and I don't feel comfortable standing, and a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of professionals out there in the fitness industry are like, well, just tough it out. Just stand on your feet. You've got to push through. You've got to persevere. I agree. However, if your body's having a bad day, you don't need to tax it out more by, by if your right leg is weak right here, you don't need to tax it out more by demanding and forcing that leg to do more on it and just possibly make that, uh, that relapse worse. So when your foot's not feeling good, your leg's not feeling good, you're not feeling super duper awesome standing up, typically what's happening is there's some kind of misfiring going on up in the hip and in the pelvis. So that's why we're doing this week on leg weakness is that I want to teach you how to activate everything except for that kind of faulty weak leg so that the rest of your body can help this poor little leg out while it has a chance to recover. There's new patterns being fed into the brain. So next time you have a relapse on this leg, your brain's gonna be like, wait, last time we did this, so let's do this again because it worked. And so therefore, your body starts to learn that if you have a, a, a relapse or a symptom flare up, it picks another path. If, if road A is down and there's a, there's a tree down or a rock slide or something, it picks road B or C or D that you and I are gonna create together. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start on the first thing, super vital, super important exercise called the posterior pelvic tilt. A lot of times with MS, because we start to fall forward, our pelvis tips forward and we end up arching our back a lot. So we need to focus on tipping that pelvis back so that your pelvis gets into neutral, sitting underneath your spine, which protects your low back gets your glutes to fire, and preserves your balance. Now, you can see I don't have any shoes on, okay? So this week, we're going to be focused with no shoes because I want you to feel the ground and just feel the pelvis and not push into the beds of your shoes, okay? So I took my shoes off, and you're actually going to use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this ball here in just a sec. You're going to take your shoes. You're going to turn them backwards because I want you to put your toes on your shoes. I don't want you pushing down into the floor with your toes. I want you pushing through the heels. So put your toes up on your shoes, okay, and slide them back. And then I have this yellow ball. If you have something like an inflatable ball, I want you to put that between your knees. If you don't have something like this, you can get a big old beach towel, roll it up or fold it in half till it's pretty small, put it in between the knees. What this is doing is something in between your legs like this 
keeps your legs in neutral position because a lot of times with MS, you see people either falling to the inside like this or falling to the outside like this. And we want to maintain neutral here because we don't want to create more problems by training your body wrong. Okay? So put your feet up, put your toesies up on your shoes. You're going to slide back. Okay? All right. I'm going to tip this camera down just a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. That was my close up today. All right, so you're going to put this ball in between your knees. I'm going to pull my shirt up so you can see this white belt, so you can actually see it, or tan belt. You can actually see myself tip back. So toes are on your shoes. With this ball, it's up here. You're going to slightly push in on the ball. Then what I want you to do is pull that belly button down. Okay, so not hard. You don't want to suck in. You just want to pull down lightly. And then what I want you to do is relax your shoulder blades and your neck. Now imagine your hips are a bucket of water like this. They're probably tipping forward. What your goal in this exercise with the belly button drawn down and pushing into that ball or towel is to tip the pelvis back. So you want to think about tipping the pelvis back and tipping the water out. Now this is a really small motion, so watch right here on me. You're going to be using these muscles and you're going to relax your neck, push into that ball lightly, pull down lightly, make sure you're in your heels and not pushing down into your shoes. And all you're going to do is you're going to rotate those hips back so you feel the small of your back on the mat. Okay, did everyone see that? So you're going to go forward and then pull those abs down, squeeze into that ball. You're just going to tip that pelvis back. So I'm rotating my body back this way. All right? So we're going to do 10 of those. Here we go. So abs in, push down into your shoes, push into your towel, and you're going to tip, you're going to roll those hips back. So hips roll towards the ribs. One, two. Let it come back out nice and slow. Sometimes it helps to put your hands on your hips and guide you. And pull. Two. Two. So we're going this way. And down. Ready? Three. Two. Back down. Good. Four. Two. And notice when I'm counting and I'm holding, the belly button's pulled in and you're using these muscles right here. Okay? Back down. And you pull back. Five. Two. Again, tip in that pelvis. It's coming forward. And back, six, two, and down, keep those abs down, eight, two, just lightly pull that belly button down to make sure your shoulders are down and relaxed, down, nine, two, push in on that ball a little bit, back down, and last one, we're going to hold this for five seconds, tip back, I want you to lightly pull, push into the towel, pull down on those abs, relax those shoulders, and we're going to go actually ten seconds here. So hold that, pull that belly button down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. So hopefully you feel that kind of in what are called your external obliques right here. You may feel it in your abductors or your inner thigh from pushing on that ball, or you may feel it kind of in your pelvic floor um, because that's what's triggering. So when we push in on the ball and we pull those abs down, it's triggering that pelvic floor. And the benefit of that for you all with MS is the more we can incorporate that pelvic floor, it's going to help out with bladder control. Uh, it's going to help out with the sexual, uh, sexual comp or problems, I guess, that people get. Uh, I was going to say complications, right? Um, but you've got to train that pelvic floor as well. So this exercise alone, you're probably going to see this kind of circulate throughout this series and throughout the next kind of 52 weeks because it's vital that you get that pelvic tilt back because MS, I see forward tipping pelvises all the time, and it can cause more bladder problems, more sexual dysfunction, more low back pain, more hip pain, bad, or bad posture, bad balance, everything. So this is from ground up stuff, tipping that pelvis back, all right? So if you like this video, what I want you to go do is like the video below, leave me a comment and tell me kind of what's going on with you, um, you know, how you're feeling, introduce yourself to the group, the page, all that kind of stuff. And if you know someone with MS, or you are a caregiver of MS, or you know someone that's taking care of someone with MS, please share this video on Facebook. I have a, I have a vision to get in the lives and build a community of a million people and set a million people free from the fear and the loss of confidence and the emotional pain and some of the physical pain of living with MS or starting with MS but it also spills over into other neurological conditions as well, like Parkinson's and brain injuries and, brain, and uh, strokes and stuff like that, because all this stuff really does work. 
but I want to blast out this MS community because I love you guys. This is where all of my passion and all of my love for the neurological condition started was with one guy named John who, was, uh, who had MS and I was like, I can't, I can't let the world suffer from this condition. This is the devil's disease. I hate you. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to help people live better lives despite the fact that they have this MS and create some victory stories. So like I said, our goal in all these videos is to slow down and stop the progression of MS in its tracks. We're going to do this together. Every video is not going to be quite this long because I wanted to introduce, but pop in every day, 7 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12, or 11 a.m. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and then every morning at sa on sa every Saturday at 7 a.m. we're going to go through the entire week's exercises in about two rounds of a circuit, and we're going to rock out and start building some amazing exercise programs to help you manage your MS symptoms. So I hope you guys love that. Give me some feedback. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.